Hello you fine folks, it's time for episode 4 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We just got the mysterious egg as I moved my microphone. And I, it is now day 2 of recording. Because it was too hot yesterday, <laughs> I had to stop. I was burning up, so went outside, got an ice cream and enjoyed myself. Now another thing I ended up doing yesterday was I ended up watching an, a really cool documentary on Nicky Lauda. If you want to know, that man is a badass. He's a three-time, I think, Formula One World Champion. And he did it after going through a horrific accident where he basically got burned so badly the, that the people in the hospital were giving him the last rites. Now that's bad. Uh, but they did it in such a rude way that he decided, you know what, fuck you all, I'm gonna live. Wow, we have we arrived significantly sooner than I anticipated. Here yeah, I thought we were going to need to... We were going to need, uh... A bit more time, but clearly I'm just too good for these guards. But yes. Hey, well, let's see. One well, of the manliest men alive. Check out Nicky Lauda's story. That guy is insane. What? And there uh, probably are um, more. Uh, wouldn't one of these things give you a 5 rupee bonus? I can't remember. I mean, we got time to burn, so we may as well go and loot all the muddies. Yeah. Now, admittedly, I probably should have done this a lot better, but I I remember that the Wii U version lets you have save states or save state. I guess. No, I don't want to grab. I wanted to move the block in advance. But regardless, it basically let me run here without having to do. Without having to do the walk in between days, I guess. Yep. Now we relocate at the milk crate placed by Mr. Tannel over there. And my God, I wish I had the sun song right now. But even if I were to go to Kakariko Village, I still wouldn't be able to get the sun song. That guy is really heavy sleeper. Let's see what he has to say before we wake him up. Remember, remember. Welcome! How much is so fun? Come and look around! Oh, that's it? Wow. That was insightful. We really got an inkling at your personality, Mr. Tanon. I almost called him Maron. He's not from Minnesota, so that's you can really tell the difference. Oh my god, the chicken hatched from the egg, and let's wake him up while the cutscene's still doing out. Wah! Wah! Can't a person get a little search eye around here? Uh, uh, staring vacantly at the milk thing. Clearly he blames the milk. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Mario, I mean Talon. Oh no, the Lord Lord Raj. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. You know, it's kind of what I did yesterday. <laughs> what? Maron was looking for me. I'm gonna catch your farmer now. I messed up bad, leaving Mal behind to wait for me. Oh no, it's the princess. No. Oh. Well, he's out. Now let's get on with the plot. And what is going to be the next great exposition dump? I'm gonna go and get it out somewhere. But they do it in a good way. Although, they probably could have done to make it skippable. But then again, as much as I complain about the cutscenes in this game, they're still significantly shorter than the cutscenes in, uh, in uh, Wind Waker and Triad Princess, especially. Actually, especially Skyward Sword. If we were playing Skyward Sword, actually every Zelda game after this one, we wouldn't have done a dungeon already. Well, maybe Twilight Princess. Actually no, Twilight Princess's early games is way too long. 
Uh, as much as I love Twilight Princess, I hate the early game. Actually, I think I mentioned that how I just hate the early game of all Zelda games. But Twilight Princess especially. So I love the dungeons in that game. But it just takes so long. Good god, everyone's so damn lazy today. I mean, it's a beautiful day. I'm just in here recording because... Uh, that's a very good point. I should be out, but I'm a bit skint right now, and so I wanna... I wanna play me some Zelda. <laughs> it's a good way to avoid spending monies. And while you can sneak across the top, I would much rather dash. Oh my guy, it's so long. Yep. Ooh, almost got spotted by that guy. God damn! You can tell Metal Gear Solid was just coming out around about this point. Oh, at the point where they realised, hey, it's 3D, but he can actually kind of do stealth now. I have no idea what that statue's supposed to be. I think it's a bit too low poly, really. Uh, I mean, I guess it's the king of Hyrule in the middle. But why are all the people on the outside all looking like they're running away in terror? Is the king really that kind of a person? Actually, thinking back to the CDI games, he is exactly that kind of person. Okay, we may have a window of opportunity here. Come on. Let's bolt. Go. Okay. This has fun written all over it. Hmm. Oh, I guess he just walked out the draw distance. Huh. I don't remember that happening. Does he still exist, or did we despawn him? Oh, there he is. I'm gonna go here. Wait it out. Let's do this. We made it! Woo! We did the obligatory stealth section! Yeah! And that was probably the most annoying one. Uh, let's look around here. Hey you. There's the Nintendo characters! No, this is straight for a while now. I can't remember if it's this window which we could get away with doing this. Ah, we got money out of it. That's cool. Right, maybe we'll just buy the Highland Shield. I think when we're done here, I'm gonna go and go and do the um, shooting mini game, maybe. And there's a nice pot over here, and <laughs> and then he does the perfectly rational thing of try and murder you in a bomb. I can't remember if he does that every time, but. No. Now then, I wonder if we could perform some- Oh, we could use the sword here. And we can cut chop down at grass. Now let's see what happens if we try to do treason. And... Boom! No. Long live the king, chop! Oh my god, it's you! Who? Who are you? How did you get the past the guards? Oh boy, this voice is way there on my throat. Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Mmm, yes. Then are you... Are you from the forest? Then... Then wouldn't you happen to have... The spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone. Uh, awkward pause. Do you have it? Absolutely not, it's a secret. Well, that's odd. I thought you might be the one from my dream. You really don't have it? Tell me the truth. Do you have it? Absolutely not. Well, okay, I guess you're just gonna be skipped through that one. Do you, okay. You have it. Just as I thought. I had a dream, and in that dream, 
Dark clouds were fought were bearing over the lands of Hyrule, and it was not due to my 86 a day. He had absolutely nothing to do with that. But suddenly a ray of light shot out from the forest, parted the ground and our clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned to a true figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. Mm. I know this is a prophecy that some will fall in the forest. <sighs> oh, I needed that. Okay, this is you. Yeah, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away a bit with my story and didn't even get properly introduced myself. I'm Zelda the Princess of Hyrule. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that they were like eight years old, those are totally fucked me eyes right there. <laughs> What's your name? The... Um, I don't get it, so I'm just gonna call you... You... Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Yeah, it's always if you use it all the time. Okay then, you... I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm as it has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Oh, fine. Yay. I know I just met you and everything, but I'm going to tell you one of the natural the fire family's most that prize secrets. My god. It's a good thing Hyrule's the only real kingdom, otherwise the spies would have would have annihilated him by now. A very goddess is uh, the triforce containing the power of the god somewhere in Hyrule. Yes. That power is to grant the wish of one who holds the triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. Well, why did the find righteous? If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. And if a woman touches it, they get a bag of peanuts. It's weird. It seems a bit unfair, or whatever. So if the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones and from people who wish to use the ultimate power to make donuts or peanuts or whatever. Or cake. Mm. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time in the Temple of Time to put open the... Which you must use the Song of Time to open to get the Sword of Time to time, time, time. And in order to open the door, I said you need to collect the three spiritual stones. And one more thing, Jackie, is the treasure that is in the royal family. But only this one, the Ocarina of Time. I don't know, I think they sold it on Hyrule's version of eBay later on. When we were short on money at some point in the future. That's great, I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. Mm, you should see Ganon. It's so nice. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, which are totally not cigarette smoke. I believe they symbolize that man. Uh, I don't think we need to see the evil person. Please, if you don't hurry, he'll be gone. Oh, uh, fine. Come on, let's see what you have to say. My god, my mittens are boiling. Why am I wearing them in such heat? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? I can also see some soldiers wearing shades. My god. So why was, is that like part of the regulation uniform or something? No, shut up! That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man! Well... What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry, he doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. 
He'll drink from the poison chalice, and then we'll pin the murder on the king. Thus my ascension shall be complete. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. One Sith Lord can always detect another. I have no idea what voice- I want the voice to change halfway through. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. Why is she Palpatine now? She's gone from Smoker to Palpatine. Well, she's Palpatine now. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Y you now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please, I don't believe you. Ha! Suck it, Palpatine. Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. Please. Oh, fine. Thank you. I, I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. Define destroy. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will project the Ocarina of Time with all of my POWER! UNLIMITED POWER! He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Gandalf does and then defeat him. One more thing! Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Wow, we got the chicken got all consumed and made into Palpatine's letter. Wow. We have the thing. It has Princess Elder's autograph and Brock kind of forgot to show up today. Sorry, Brock. Oh, man! My attendant shall guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Do, 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 do. Sorry, person, we're leaving. Oh, good God, what's up with that? You know... I... just... don't... Uh, what voice would Impa have? Uh, 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 I'm Impa of the Sheikers! Yeehaw! I'm responsible for protecting Princess Elder and everything exactly as the princess foretold. Wear the cowboy hat. Woo! You are a courageous boy. Yeah, people keep telling me that. You're heading out on an adventure! A big new adventure, aren't you? Good God, her voice seems to be changing all the time. My role in the princess dream is to teach her reality to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I've played this song for the princess Elder as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Mm. Now listen carefully. Now I'm probably going to mess up everything here. By the way, did he know you could actually use the uh, control stick to change how the ocarina works? Uh, that's how it sounds. If you do it like on hold to the left, it goes... It goes like that, uh, but it counts as you fail. But if you do it, hold it right... I pressed the wrong button that time. Then you press up and it goes higher pitch. You press down. It goes lower pitch. There we go. We did it properly. But yeah, that was, a, that was a cool little Easter egg they had. I remember back in the official Nintendo magazine, they released a little uh, tip for people, showing them how to play songs like the Simpsons theme song and the like. 
using the uh, using the ocarina and stuff. But anyways, you learned how to play Prince Zelda's lullaby. Oh, I'm out of the steel already. Oh, uh, shit! What was the voice again? It was of the the cowboy. Yeah, if the castle soldiers find you with help, uh, there will be trouble. So let me lead you out of the castle. I'm pretty sure that's so I just went straight to Brock's voice then. Sorry, Brock. Oh man. Wow. Here we are. The nice field of Hyrule. You. Yeah, you're a brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that sprite over there. That's Death Mountain, home of the Garans. They hold the special zone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. And it is where I was born and raised. You know, if I knew the words of the fresh Prince of Bel Air rap, I would. I think Impa should do a cover of anyways. You should, you should talk to some of the all the villagers up there before you go up there. Marriage. Okay, that's true, it was Brock. Brock, you filling in the voice role for Impa here. Ah, I got bored, sorry. The song I just taught you has some serious power. Only real fair members are allowed to hear this song. Remember, it will help you prove your connections with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Oh god! They've mastered the power of teleportation. We're screwed. Anyways, that was one hell of an exposition dump. So as a result, that is it for this episode. I am uh, going to quickly climb up this one because I can't remember if there was another 20 rupee thing up here. Uh, I'm still not used to this controller. <laughs> there is another 20 rupee. So yes, now that we're here, uh, that is a good place to end the episode, so thank you very much for watching. Whew, we can now get on with the proper game now, we've done with all the talking shit. Anyways, I shall see you fine folks in the next one. Bye!